I am Captain Nathan Parrish, your Mayor of the for today's ceremony. This is considered an indoor ceremony, therefore hats are to remain off. The American Change of Command Ceremony is a military tradition deeply rooted in history dating back to 3 July 1775, when General George Washington drew his sword under an elm tree in Cambridge, Massachusetts, to assume command of the Continental Army. During the American Revolution, military units carried distinctive flags designed to match the color of their uniforms and emblazoned with a motto selected by the commander. When soldiers followed their leaders into combat, this flag provided a highly visible point around which members of the unit could rally during the pandemonium of battle. Because of its importance, the flag was used in the Continental Army's earliest change of command ceremonies. The organization's banner was exchanged in full view so every soldier could see the officer now entrusted to lead them in the battle. The modern ceremony you see today is rooted in this military tradition and symbolizes the passing of command so all may witness the change of leadership responsibilities. In a few moments, we will begin the ceremony during which Colonel Jeremy R. Smith will assume command from Colonel Melody L. Olson. The presiding official for today's ceremony is Colonel Mark D. Howard, Commander, 55th Wing. The 55th Electronic Combat Group would like to recognize several distinguished guests that are present today. Representing the 355th Wing, Colonel Sean Paul. <laughs> Representing the 355th Wing Command Chief, Chief Master Sergeant Eric Thomas. <laughs> the 11th Air Task Force Commander, Colonel Brett Cassidy. <laughs> the 11th Air Task Force Command Chief, Chief Master Sergeant Sharon Taylor. Chief Master Sergeant Andrew Small. The 55th Electronic Combat Group Honorary Commander, Greg Wakefield. Colonel Smith's children, Luke and Caleb. His mother, Bonnie. Representing the DM-50, Brian Walt. Military Affairs Committee Chair, Katie Moore. The Air and Space Force Association, Chapter 105, President, Colonel Retired, Walter Sager. The Tucson Community Cares President, Ben Bueller Garcia. Representing the Desert Thunder Squadron, Peter Minot. We would also like to welcome all colonels, commanders, chiefs, first sergeants, SMS, and especially the men and women of the 55th Electronic Combat Group.
Please join me in prayer or in your own faith tradition. O oh Lord our God, we thank you for the blessings of this day, for a country founded on liberty, for the voice we have in all levels of its government, and for people who will defend it through their hard work and commitment to the mission, sometimes even with their own lives. We stand in the company of such men and women in this ceremony. Thank you, Lord, for each person standing with us today and the many others beyond this company who stand for our freedom and liberty. But today, our attention is on Colonel Melanie Olson and Colonel Jeremy Smith. Lord, you have brought them both to this place. We thank you for their service and leadership, and we ask for your blessing. Grant favor in their transition, give insight for their coming challenges, bless them with strength and endurance in obtaining and leading others to, su to success. As Colonel Olson moves forward, bless her and her family in their future endeavors. And as Colonel Olson assumes command, grant him wisdom, discernment, and blessing for his family with their time here at Davis Monkton. Be with the 55th Electronic Combat Group, granting them strength, decisiveness, and even some stubbornness as they take on the tasks always ready for our Air Force. Thank you for the airmen that make this squadron who they are. Be with us, O oh Lord, that we may stand with honor, that we may serve with distinction, that we may choose what is right and what is good as the course heading for our life. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you, Davis Moffin Air Force Base Honor Guard, Senior Airman Adams, and Chaplain Dahlquist. Ladies and gentlemen, the 55th Wing Commander, Colonel Mark Howard.
She is authentic. The one thing, if you ask anybody out here, she doesn't like to be the center of attention. So the fact that I'm telling everybody you're kind of a big deal, you're like, can you please knock it off? All right, I'll get, I'll get, I'll be done here in, in a minute. She always puts you people first. She's always available to her team, and she is competent and compassionate, and Mo, it's been an honor to serve with you. And now, it's time to pass on that guide on the Chief Vance home right there from the ECG. Look at that thing, doesn't that look good? Look at all those streamers, that's right. It's time to pass it on to Smitty, my man Jeremy Smith. He has an acquisition background, which Bonnie, if you're familiar, I hope that means you know you understand. He's good at getting stuff, acquiring them, because that's what we need. We need some new planes. We are ready. And we think this guy is going to get us across that finish line, because we need it. As we talked about, 1581 back here, she's, she's amazing, right? But it's time for the new breed to come out. And this new breed out here is very excited for you to be their leader. If we have faith in you, you're going to do amazing. But one thing that's probably new to you, I was looking through your record, and I was like, I don't know if you've ever been a maintenance officer before. Flim Dog, where you at? Wait that in, Flim Dog. All right, so you see this gentleman right here? That guy is depending on you to be part of maintenance. Okay? you got to understand that he deserves the utmost respect, and everybody wearing this green flight suit must treat him and everybody in this 755th AMXS with the utmost respect because they deserve it. Got it? I'm not counting on you, brother. You got this. We trust you. We believe in you. And we're ready for you to lead this group of gems. Congratulations, my friend. All right, but first, before we get there, let's give Mo a little award. We'll pin something on her for all the wonderful things she did. Give her a legion of merit. How about that? Thank you. Thank you, Colonel Howard. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the medal presentation to Colonel Melanie Olson. What is your Attention to orders. Citation to accompany the award of the Legion of Merit to Colonel Melanie L. Olson. Colonel Melanie L. Olson distinguished herself by exceptionally meritorious conduct and the performance of outstanding service to the United States as commander. 55th Electronic Combat Group, 55th Wing, Davis Mountain Air Force Base, Arizona, from 29 July 2022 to 31 December 2024. During this period, the exemplary ability, diligence, and devotion to duty of Colonel Olson were instrumental in the resolution of many complex problems of major importance to the Wing, Air Force, and electromagnetic warfare community. Her leadership was crucial in leading the Air Force's sole airborne electromagnetic attack group, consisting of five units with 855 airmen, civilians, and contractors, while transitioning the Compass Call fleet from eight to five legacy EC-138 aircraft, and accepting the first of 10 EA-37 Bravo aircraft, while supporting two deployed operations during her two years in command. Colonel Olson also led her group through a full fleet grounding and recovery, mitigating its effects by increasing simulation usage by 40%, and balancing rapid taskings, training, and exercises to preserve readiness. Furthermore, she directly liaised with congressional members and staffers, reinvigorating the need for increased funding for critical airborne electromagnetic warfare capability, supporting joint and coalition forces, and synchronizing organizational and strategic objectives to ensure EA-37 Bravo advanced technology upgrades and support equipment remained intact. Moreover, Colonel Olson led professional development for 100 personnel on past to command and for 300 personnel on women in leadership for 55th Electronic Combat Group members and as keynote speaker for the 2023 Barksdale Air Force Base Women's Symposium, using her research and experience to model the way. Finally, Colonel Olson is the compassionate leader the group needed during a crucial time of transition, developing a vision of just cause with a focus on strong, inspired airmen and actual items to drive connection and purpose for members trying to balance a limited fleet and high operations demand. The singularly distinctive accomplishments of Colonel Olson culminate a distinguished career in the service of her country and reflect great credit upon herself and the United States Air Force. Ladies and gentlemen, 
commander of the 55th Electronic Combat Group, Colonel Melanie Olson. Good morning. Thank y'all for being here. And there's so many people I need to thank for making this happen today, and a lot of people who have supported me over this journey. So this will be a lot of, just a lot of thank yous. Um, first, thank you to the Color Guard. I appreciate your dedication and presenting our nation's flag. Um, thanks, Chaplain. You're still down here. Oh, there you are, in the front row. Um, for your blessing over the ceremony. Uh, Senior and Adams, thanks for the fantastic rendition of the National Anthem. Beautiful voice, thank you. Um, thanks for both protocol teams from 355th and 55th. As always, we need your expertise to make this happen. Um, I also want to extend my appreciation to Captains Basenki and Green Parish, Tech Sergeant Mosser, and my front office team, including Kristen O'Neill Hanna, Chief, and everyone else who helped today's details um, happen, including escort, setup, and teardown folks. Thanks, Sergeant Franco, my DCC, for the upcoming aircraft presentation, and Aaron Fleming, Flynn Bob, you got it, for the salute you're about to do, and the one you're going to give to uh, Colonel Smith. Thanks for everyone else who worked to make this a success. Thanks to the world's best maintainers, WBMs, for setting up the hangar and the aircraft. That's no small feat every time you do this. Thank you. Uh, Brian, Kelly, Wally, Ben, and Peter, thanks for representing the local community. Your support is outstanding. We're grateful for your dedication to our airmen, and we enjoy your partnership. Thank you. Greg, thank you for being here, for being a fantastic honorary commander. I appreciate you. Um, Colonel Brown, I know you just got off leave and you're already here, so thank you for that. Chief Thomas, thanks for representing and for all of your world-class support. Fellow DLT commanders and chiefs, thanks for being here, for supporting us. Uh, Colonel Howard, thanks for the opportunity to continue to lead. Thanks for flying out to the beautiful Southwest, Tucson, and for spending some time with your jammers. We appreciate you. Um, commanding the ECG has been such an amazing opportunity, and I thank you for that. To former commanders of the ECG, some of whom are here, including Moby Dickman, I see you there, sir. Chewy Kundip, I see you, and Snitch Aquaro, thanks for being here. As well as others who have carried the Volt 01 call sign, including Slam, Bits, Maha, Queen, Fodge, Moose, and Rhino. All of you paved the way to set an example of how to be a great leader. Special thanks, uh, Brad, for being here. Ms. Paula's smile and encouragement has been with me the past two years and in her memories, and I appreciate you representing her legacy. Thank you. To the members of the ECD, I'm extremely honored to have served as your commander. I'm looking out and it's like a reunion out here. I keep seeing faces I've known for 20 plus years, and it's awesome. And to see a big safari representation, 640 but thanks for being here. I mix, uh, you make this the best group in the Air Force, all of you. And as promised during my last commander's call, I'm going to make the actual speech short because it's hot. Uh, but I want the outsiders to know a few things about you and how proud I am of you and your talent. Um, you have such pride and you work so hard, so I'll just recap a few things. In two years, you deployed four times. You won over 150 awards, awards at the wing above level. You moved the entire piece of a medal. 1587 from this flight line to its resting place there in front of the 42nd. Now it's a beautiful uh, thing that we can all come to and see uh, to represent the legacy of the 130. You helped rename the EC-37B to the EA-37B to represent what it does. And you're patiently awaiting its delivery. I guess I didn't catch that when we did the medal. That one that delivered hasn't quite delivered yet, but that's okay. We'll still, we'll still have to take credit for that one. In spirit. Uh, you picked the tail numbers for the last three EA 37Bs representing the flying squadrons in the years they started 4180, 4206, and 4386. You continue to maintain and fly this 50 year old aircraft, still deploying, now at red flag with a third of the once 15 aircraft fleet. You, not me, you have all briefed Comac, SECAF, CSAF, SIMSAF, to name just a few. You're nothing short of amazing. Um, thanks to my longtime best friends, work friends, local friends, for being my sounding board. You all helped me through some tough personal struggles um, as I took the guideline, and I'm thankful for all of you. Um, 
Last but not least, I thank God for my foundation, my parents for raising me with strong morals and values, and my three kids and grandson for being solid rocks in my day-to-day -day journey. I'm so proud of all of you. And they're not here because some of them are in school, and I told them all to save their time for my retirement ceremony. So they do like me. They're just not here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm almost done. Smitty, I can't think of a better officer and leader to take the guide on. You are what the jammers need when they need it. Take care of these jammers, and they will take care of you. Lead with courage and transparency, and they will follow. Jammers, I want to leave you with a thought based on my Angelo's quote. So when you forget everything I've said, because you will, and when you forget everything I've done, because you will, over the past two years, I hope I left you feeling like you matter, because you do. I'm proud of you. You make this group the best in the Air Force, so thank you. Now please appease me one more time with our chant. Compass call. Ladies and gentlemen, we stand for the change of command. Almost York. Attention to orders. The Department of the Air Force has announced that effective 26 July 2024, Colonel Jeremy R. Smith is assigned as commander, 55th Electronic Combat Group. Signed. Colonel Mark D. Howard, Commander, 55th Wing, Offutt Air Force Base, Nebraska. Sir, I relinquish command. Senior Airman Chandler Fleming of the 55th Electronic Combat Group will now render Colonel Smith his first salute as Group Commander. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention behind the stage as Staff Sergeant Justin Franco presents the Commander's Aircraft, tail number 1581. Ladies and gentlemen, the 55th Electronic Combat Group Commander, Colonel Jeremy Smith. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come down here to this important change of command ceremony. I so do appreciate you all being here. It's good to see so many distinguished visitors and attendants. I am truly honored and humbled by the opportunity to serve as the 55th ECG commander. Throughout my career, I've endeavored to make a positive difference wherever I've been stationed, and that desire remains true within me today. Colonel Howard, sir, thank you for affording me the opportunity to command this prestigious organization. Under my own strength, I know I cannot lead effectively. However, I see before me an incredible team of dedicated professionals. I see warriors, devoted government civilians, I see committed contractors that are all pulling together to provide combat ready EC 130H compass call aircraft, crews, maintenance, operational support to combatant commanders. I see a collective group forged in the fire of combat in places such as Kosovo, Haiti, Panama, Libya, Iraq, Serbia, and Afghanistan. And I marvel at it how time after time, this group comes through when the nation calls. 
But just as the character of war changes continually, so must Compass Call evolve. Our big SPAR mission partners endeavor to deliver the next generation EA-37B Compass Call while continuing to support bbc 130H. The transitional work already accomplished by the 55th Wing will ensure that we are postured to take ownership of the a 37 b when Big Safari says those trustworthy words, it's ready to deliver. But until that day comes, and after it does, the ECG will stay focused on the mission at hand, for we will be called into service again, and we must be ready. Our potential adversaries use rapidly changing technology in an effort to gain a superior edge across the competition continuum. The ECG exists to offer combatant commanders measured levels of effect during competition through full conflict. Airborne electronic attack capability and expertise is more critical to national security now than it has ever been before. Not only is the character of war, the compass call aircraft, and the pace of technology all changing, so is the structure of the United States Air Force. This group is no stranger to change and change can be one of the most stressful events in the lives of those involved. As the Air Force works through the necessary changes to re-optimize for great power competition, I cannot tell you today how the group is going to be affected. However, I can tell you that whatever change is required to optimize this group for potential conflict, we will march through those changes in a coordinated fashion. Along the, the way of these changes, know that I take very seriously the impact they will make on the lives of everyone. In conclusion, I am extremely grateful for the privilege to serve alongside each and every one of you in the ECG. My only promise to you today is that I will daily bow my head before God Almighty and ask Him for the wisdom, the strength, and the perseverance to lead well for that day. Thank you in advance for your efforts to be exceptional. Mo, Blue skies and tailwinds to you, wherever you find yourself next. I know the shoes that you leave are huge, but I thank you for the transitional work you've done to make this job successful. Luke and Caitlin, so we've entered another chapter in our lives, and this one's going to be extraordinary. Thank you for being wonderful kids. I can't be any more proud of you than I am. I love you, and thank you. And Mom? Thank you and Dad for your support that you've always given me. I love you and I'm proud to be called your son. So Warhawks, today's no fly day. Uh, out of, at Red Flag, we're working hard. Uh, if you're not required to be at work to support our mission, have a great and safe weekend. Thank you all and Jim Luke and Kayla, on behalf of the men and women of the 55th Electronic Combat Group, please accept these gifts as a warm welcome to Davis Mountain Air Force Base and the 355th Wing. You can be sure we will do all we can to make the next two years a memorable and rewarding experience for you. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the Air Force song and the departure of the official party. To continue our newest Warhawk tradition, please remember to fist up with the lines, give them the gun, and hey!
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. Please join us in the back up here to welcome our new group commander and his family.